Hi guys, this is Joy Ani. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Joy Ani, scrapping in my own private Idaho. And today I am is the day that I look at a more current purchase from Stampin' Up. So this um, Piper Pack is called Soda Pop, and I will show you the paper. Um, it was designed by Close to My Heart, and it was sold through Stampin' Up. Um, it recently sold out, but I do have a few um, paper packs in my stash if you are interested. So this is the sticker sheet, and this is the paper, and this is the back side. That's, I'll be using part of the back side of that paper today. And none of this, but that's the back side of that. There's a little tiny bit of this on my title. And this is kind of the feature page. So this paper pack is great for little boys. Um, I also bought the stamp set. I'm, I'm being very picky about what stamp sets I buy because I have quite a few, but I could not resist this one. It's called Totally Awesome Stamp Set. And it is Happy Birthday. And I'm using the title, You're Totally Awesome. because And the pictures are perfect, of course. I cannot find them. I just went to Walgreens because my uh, I normally print at home, but I am out of ink. So I took them to Walgreens, and I've lost them somewhere between me and the store. But that's the story of my life. So I'm using this little stamp set. I'm using, I stamped this one, and this one, and the big frog, and two of the little frogs. And I love this little tiny... Um, I don't know what you call it, but we're going to work with that today. So this is an 8x8, but I will also make this as a 12x12. 12 12. So I'm making this for a little guy who um, comes and um, he hangs out with us sometimes. He's like Levi's first little friend. So here we go. So um, I cut this 8x8, eight eight and um, I need to change my blade. And when your blade gets kind of gnarly, what you can do is you can ink your edges. So I'm inking this with sapphire, and I will get the gooeys that I didn't get off. If you want a very dark line, um, then this is called direct ink. So I'm literally taking the ink pad and doing it directly to the ink pad. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot these guys off. I had to add, add them googly eyes because, honestly, what is cuter than googly eyes? I, I can't think of anything. So I'm also putting this on direct ink. So the colors in this paper pack are Limeade. Um, well, I don't know if they've listed Limeade or not. I'll have to look on the zip strip and see. Okay, so I am making this go all the way around. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the sketch, the sketch on this side, is um, sketch 131. It is from Lisa Sikarski, and I will, um, I will have a still shot of her sketch. I forgot to pull it up, and I don't want to stop recording. You will hear that phone going off. I made the mistake of, um, of asking about health care and they have called me yesterday they called me 36 times it is beyond annoying and even when I told them that um, I wasn't interested um, they continued to call me <laughs> note to self okay so um, so this Sketch is by Lisa Skarsky. If you pop over to my Facebook page, which is Joy Ani Scrap in My Own Private Idaho, I will have still pictures of that. If you have not followed that, please um, like and follow that page so that I can um, do vi videos directly to that Facebook group. I can't do it do it yet because I don't have a hundred followers. So I'm go also going to ink around the sketch. I wish I would have that sketch I would try to get my phone but my I normally show you on my phone what sketch we're doing but I've been getting so many calls I can't even use my phone 
it, it literally, I, I think this is how they drive people insane. Okay, so this was her original sketch. And then, um, uh, yeah, so, and then, but I always do two pages, and this is an eight page um, sketch. When I turn this into a 12, oh, I wanted to show you this. So this is, um, see how there is detail on the outside? This is a four inch circle, and I use that with a die cut. This is the die cut that I bought from Stampin' Up. It's called Spotlight on Nature, and they have like, a bunch of die cuts. I'll take a picture of that as well and put that on my Facebook group, um, Scrap Joyani Scrap in my own private Idaho. But this um, this die cut is wonderful because every circle, I mean, it's it's a nested circle um, die cut, which is cool to begin with. But then they have every every um, die cut has a different outside, and most die cuts at circles they start off at three. But this is four, and it's great, and I love it. So if I, when I make this a 12 page, instead of having this die cut, what I'll use is I will use a six inch, six inch circle. And you can see that this is also, so these two circles, this circle and this circle are, are made with that die cut. See how I can put, place them on here. And then to save paper, I'm going to put it this way. And this is an eight by eight layout. Um, and I have been using the 8x8 layouts way more than I used to and the reason is is because they are very quick to do and 12x12 um, 12 12, if for a child to look at their album it's kind of big so 8x8 um, 8 8 is about the perfect size okay then on her sketch she had I'm gonna, I'm gonna ink this up as well you can use either side of this paper. It's really cute. What I love about this paper, it is perfect for little boys. And there's not one flower in it. Oh. <laughs> I will say that that is one of the differences between Stampin' Up! and uh, Close to My Heart is they have a lot of flowers. So it's kind of refreshing to have paper that doesn't have flowers. I know I have people that tell me, oh, I just love flowers. I know you do. Okay, so this is going to go like this. And the pictures are here. Because I, um, the little guy that, I I did have the pictures, so I couldn't do them. Even, and even if I had them, I would cover them up because they are not my children. So I'm going to put this over here like this. Um, I trimmed this down, so this is 8 by 8 and this is 7 and a half. And when I did that, I um, I kind of lost a little bit of space. And if I had it to do over again, this was my original. I had like little, um, I was going to stamp, I kind of stamped this on a uh, just a piece of paper to kind of see where I wanted to go. Um, but I kind of ran out of rope. So here's my little frogs. And they are jumping they are jumping frogs and so I'm going to take my um, stamp set that this is such a small stamp set but honestly it is such a good one because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this under here I'm going to have it I'm going to put my frog like this I want to see where he's jumping because I want him to be jumping on and I don't want I don't want that to go on there so I'm just going to place that like that the other nice thing about acrylic stamps is I could straighten that out make the line straighter I'm going to pop dot him because jumping frogs need to be pop dotted. I did add googly eyes. I consider making his tongue red, but I don't have any red in this and I didn't want it to, to be, oh, that frog has a red tongue. Okay, and then we have our little lily pad. I do like things to overlap, so I'm going to put that right there, the cute small little lily pad. And I am usually like a, a literal, um, I'm going to pull this up, see how this is kind of, I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to put my, my thing over here so it looks like he's jumping. I'm going to put that over there like this, see how that goes. I want it to come a little bit over, so I'm going to tuck that without bending my paper too much. I'm so brave to do that right on 
So he's going like this. He's just so happy. And I'll pop dot him too. Then we're going to have our picture. And getting all this on, the only challenging thing about 8x8 is you don't have a lot of real estate. So that's going to go right up here. And these are 3x4 pictures, which are my favorite size. I used to think, oh, that's too small. But you know, it really, really, really isn't. And then I'm going to... You can barely see my... The only... Okay, so I'm going to put... I want this to be overlapping I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm that you can see my hands I'm looking at my screen I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see a little bit better by what I'm doing so um, I want I, you know I try and decide I'm just going to put this or I could have it go down a little bit farther this way I'm trying to think about my pictures. My pictures have, I think, I think it's going to go right like that. Oh, things are falling in my room. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And if I, ha when you see the sketch, when I post it, you'll see I followed it really, really closely. Um, they had a, they had three circles, I have three circles. They had a picture, they had this title going like this. So I'm gonna put that down right there like that. Okay, so that is my first page. And I'm going to show you, I'm gonna add a few things, but I wanna wait until I get my second page done before I know exactly. So this, so I, I am a two page scrapper and I wanted to, so, to stretch this sketch, first of all, I'm going to ink everything. When you are stretching a sketch, one of the things that you want to do, stretch a sketch or um, you could call it extending the stretch or making a companion page. Any way you want to look at it. So when you have two like this that are together, and this was not a two-page, this, this was not a two-page sketch. So what I'm doing to help it appear that it was always meant together as I am repeating elements. So I'm repeating the fact that I have a sapphire 8x8 underneath and a 7.5 um, white page. Um, to be quite honest, normally what I do is I butt these up, but I didn't and that would make it feel un uneven, so I'm going to make them identical. But normally what I like to do is if I'm going to extend the sketch, I'll put this one over here like this one. Can I get away with that? Let's see. Let's see if I can do that. I do like that better. Let's see if I can pull it up. Ooh, I think I've got it down too, too much. Um, ha <laughs> I, I, yeah. And I really put it down this time, that, which is funny. So to add to the continuity, what I'm doing is I'm sliding it over. I'm sliding it over on the side so that it there. Um, I, I just think it makes them look like they're, they belong together a little bit better. And then I'm going to put that one right over here like that. Okay. So I'd forgotten that. See. Oh, and look at me. I'm going 14 minutes. I, I don't usually have really long videos. Okay, but this is, uh, you're getting the whole process. And, the, okay, there. Whoops. I do want it on the end here. So it's half inch at the bottom. It makes it a little bit more uneven, but I, I do like that way better. Okay. So now I'm going to put so to continue that so i have i put them together so they seem like they're flowing together even though this is a sketch it was only one page and you can hear my phone going off again this is how many times these people have called me so um the next thing is oops i'm gonna 
push that up a little bit so you can see it. I cut this. This is a four inch. And the reason I made four inch, this to be four inch, is because um, when I cut my circles, those were four inch. And I am trying to conserve my paper. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the middle. And then I am going to have the green circle here and a green circle here, just like I had on this other side. So that I, I basically, everything that is on this page, I haven't done. A lot of times I will just flip it and repeat it exactly the same, but I thought that would be a little weird to have them down the middle. So instead of having the circles down the middle, I have, I've, I'm using the featured paper, but um, uh, not the other. So, all right, here we are. Sorry for the buzzing, but that is a very determined salesperson. I told him, I said, I don't make decisions on, on without thinking about things. So here we go. All right. So this one's going to go here. And what's nice about that is, see, I've only cut two circles. This used minimal paper, um, and I used to, you know, when we, when we had uh, paper is expensive. You want to get the, you want to get as much bang out of your buck, out of your bang, out of your buck, out of your bang, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Words are hard today, especially if I'm, I'm, and I'm not a multitasker. So here we go. So there's that one, and I have the two circles. I'm repeating that look up because this is something they did with the sketch. Actually, this was supposed to go over here a little bit. This was very, yeah, this was just a little, a little. Okay, that gives me a little bit more, okay. All right, so this one, let me think about how I did this. I should have taken a picture, but then I couldn't have used my phone because it keeps a ring. Okay, this is going to go like that. And then this one is the opposite to give it a little bit of balance. All right. And this one still is, is too much. I'm going to... What I might do is... Set it, okay. And have that because I want I want you to see the paper a little bit. Okay, there. Although you can't see the green circle very much, it is over there. It's a hint of it. We'll we'll make it work. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these down, and I want this for the paper to show a little bit. It's, um, and you could just cut your paper thinner and use less paper, but at some point it gets to be too much work, I think. And there's my phone again. 36 times they called me. Is that harassment? <laughs> I, and I don't normally, and part of my problem is, is I, I'm very hesitant to deal with people on the phone. I would rather do it in person because you never can tell if they are um, legit or not. And they, and if you give them all that information, which hello, getting health care would require them to have some of my personal stuff. And I'm just not comfortable with that. All because I didn't fill out the proper paperwork. All right. Okay. That goes like that. Okay. And we're going to put this little frog is going to sit right up here because he is so happy. Doesn't he look... These frogs remind me of my grandson. So happy and hopping around all the time. Oh, he's so cute. I had to have him. I, I honestly do not need any more stamps, but I, I had to have this one. Okay, so now we're going to add, because I'm not a big embell, I'm very much a flat scrapper, so I don't embellish a lot, but the they have a lot of fun little things in here, 
and I think it will add character. So what we're going to do is we are going to, what do frogs love? Frogs love flies. So we're going to put a couple, we're going to put a little couple flies buzzing around his head because we want to make our frog happy, right? I'm going to put that up here. I'm going to put a fly right up there. It's the beauty of being able to line things up. This is why I am definitely, I am team acry acrylic. I won't hardly buy stamps that are not acrylic because they, they are just not as versatile. Okay, and then I'm going to put one over there. So he is in a good place because he's got bees, he's got bugs flying all over. So I'm going to take this and I am going to kind of form a little circle because that's kind of a blank spot and I don't really like those right there but they're on there so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna put one right here and then I'm going to hide this underneath. I, I love this is one of the reasons I got this, is for this cool, good thing I am a light touch when it comes to stamping. So then, see how it, see how that just adds a little something something? I'm going to do the same thing to the left. I really don't like those bees once I've got them on there, but I might try to do something else. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to form a almost circle. I've got to put a bug because that kind of breaks my circle up a little bit and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not about perfection. Okay. down so I'm gonna woo I used to never stamp on my pages I am so brave now and we're going to put one here put a little B right there I put, should not have put my frog down until I got Okay, I'm just going to pull it up because it will be covered up. Alright, there. Ooh, made it kind of gnarly. Okay, now, okay. Alrighty, and the last thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take these down, the ones that I pulled up and made look terrible, and um, the last thing I, I want to do is, it's kind of stark, and what I like to do is, I'm not a great fan of just totally white, um, so if I had Limeade, if I could find my Limeade, I would use it, but I'm using Sweetly, and I am just going to sponge I do this just it's it's very random and it just adds a little something something and that will be our completed layout so it went really quick it took me 24 minutes actually it took me more than that because I always prep everything but I'm gonna go ahead and but this this can also be a 12 by 12 so if you want to do a 12 by 12 what I'll do is if when I get the YouTube channel when I um, if you look in the in the comments below where it says see more underneath the YouTube YouTube I am going to put the the dimensions for a 
if you want to make this 8x8 eight eight, and what you could do if you wanted to make this um, 12 by 12 because it'd be super easy you're just switching out you're going to make your circle six inches and cut them and then you would make this six inches and you would add pictures and um, eventually I will have that posted that layout will be posted on scrapbooking with joy um, Facebook group as well so that's where I put a, a lot of the still pictures so I hope you like this um, the next layout that I do will be, I will be diving into my um, Close to My Heart stash, and I will be um, using my um, Cape Cod. So, I hope you'll like and subscribe to this channel. I hope you'll pop over to Joyani Scrapping in my own private Idaho Facebook group, and I hope you will follow that page so I can do a direct link to that one. Um, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your, your support. This, um, it, it, the materials that are available, like the uh, Spotlight on Nature, I will put that, um, I will put my website, my Stampin' Up! website, in those links below. And I will let you know that on the 4th of September, um, Stampin' Up! is launching their scrapbook um, editions, I guess you'd call it. And they have a workshop, they have some two-tone paper in Stampin' Up! colors, which I'm super excited for. So, um, anyway, till next time, thank you so much. Bye.